The Enbridge Tour Alberta for Cancer is a two-day, 200-kilometer ride where 2,000 riders come together to raise money for the Alberta Cancer Foundation, which is the funding partner for all cancer care and research in the province of Alberta. fantastic much more than I even thought it was going to be I've been hearing great things about it for a while and so uh, really important for our company and uh, I got involved on that basis but I couldn't have imagined how wonderful it is and when you when you turn that final corner uh, it becomes very emotional and uh, really special so it was it was fantastic festival as always was a great time it's nice to come in have a place to hang out with your friends family teammates listen to some music, have some drinks and food, and just kind of relax and enjoy the party and have a good time. Over the last 16 years at this event here in Alberta, we have raised over $100 million. Funds raised from the tour help ensure that all cancer patients in Alberta receive the treatment and care they need and deserve now and into the future. The Alberta Cancer Foundation exists to provide more hope and more moments for Albertans facing cancer. When you hear those three words, you have cancer, you don't actually hear anything that comes after that. You don't. Things become incredibly dark. And what an event like this does is actually give some lightness when people are facing a dark time. You've got a community of a couple thousand people coming together with one intent to make life better for Albertans facing cancer, whether that be their family member, their neighbor, their colleague, their friend. As a recent cancer patient myself, it's important to know companies like Enbridge are there to support not just employees, but anyone facing cancer. The opening ceremonies is an extremely emotional part of our event. And the riderless bike procession is just a moment for everybody to think about all of those people that we've lost, to take a moment to remember them, to remember why we do the tour, and to remember to take them with us out on the road. The tour was really special for me this year. I've done it seven times now, but this is the only time, first and only time, I've been able to do it with my dad. Or I've got stage four lung cancer. You almost feel guilty about getting it because you're like, what did I do? You know? And I have metastases to my my bones, my spine, I have some fractured vertebrae. And uh, I think I think the best part of this is the 90% of control that I have psychologically to say, I'm gonna work with this thing and I'm not gonna let it drag me down. And I'm gonna live my best life. Okay, bud. <laughs> My wife was diagnosed in uh, the fall of 2013. She had something called nut midline carcinoma. The day she passed away, I have to tell your kids that their mom's not coming home. It was, uh, it was not a good day, but. I'm riding for my grandfather who is battling cancer. And honestly, like, I'm just, I'm so proud of how hard he's working and I want to work hard as well to show him that I'm there for him. So I'm just so glad to be here today. This year I'm writing for my mom. So she was um, diagnosed with cancer in 2020. Um, unfortunately did pass away that year. Um, when I think about just like her and like how to deal with grief, I guess every day it's more the like cherishing like how long we did have together. Um, she was absolutely incredible. So I'm very, very grateful to have her um, as a mom for the 20. 25 years that I did um, and she would have been out here on a bike she would have she was always doing activities so this like could not I feel like we could not have like 
honored her better with this. Many of us are in the jobs we are because of our own family history and stories and impact of cancer and that what, that's what led us into the field. And to have these events where you have so many people coming together for a single cause to support that is fantastic. And obviously on the other side, we're very grateful for the support of the community that really lets us develop new techniques and to implement new cancer um, tools for screening and diagnosis and treatment into the clinic to help Albertans. From the morning breakfast and uh, starting off the day to the excitement uh, of all of the people. Like I was amazed how many people attend this event and I thought the opening ceremonies was very touching and uh, really touched my heart, the whole, the whole event. I could say one thing to participants in the tour, I guess it just would be thank you. Quite genuinely, thank you. It is really hard to quantify the impact that you have had on the cancer system and people facing a cancer diagnosis in this province. Do it for more laughs, more hugs, more days, and more moments for Albertans facing cancer. Register today for the 2025 Enbridge Tour Alberta for Cancer.